Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're having a look at IL-2, Cliffs of Dover, and the Tobruk expansion. This World War II combat sim is among the best flight sims that I've had the great pleasure of trying out recently. Although it may not be new to some of you, it was definitely new to me, and I was pleasantly surprised by what it had to offer. As you guys know on this channel from time to time we like to highlight interesting or cool flight sims that maybe you haven't heard of or maybe you're on the fence about. And I can tell you that Desert Wings to Brook is fantastic. And you guys know me, I'm an absolute sucker for good graphics and great audio effects. And this sim had it all. One of the first things I did was load up and take in the sights. I loaded up different aircraft from the Stukas to the Wellington, BF-109. I put them over all kinds of terrain and just took in the sights. From the beautiful desert terrain to the massive German bombers coming in to terrorize England. So by now you've seen the graphics and they're great, but now listen to this cannon fire. Here's the machine guns on the Spitfire. Notice how every aircraft's guns sound different. Look at how the aerodynamics are modeled as this BF-109 saws off a wing. Attention to details like these show me that a lot of passion went into creating this sim. The other thing I appreciated was the full fidelity clickable cockpits and the amount of detail and attention that has gone into modeling these. I've had a lot of fun in this great World War II sim and I highly recommend it. It's provided me with some of the most intense World War II dogfighting experiences I've had in a long time. And for those of you looking for some maybe 1930s action, uh, they do have some biplanes as well and I had uh, quite a lot of fun with these actually. I want to do some dogfighting in the BF-109, but before we get there, I want to show you a little bit about what other aircraft are available in this sim. I'm sure many of you recognize the Vickers Wellington, the British twin-engined long-range medium bomber. We all know, recognize, and love the Spitfire, and keep in mind that the cockpits you see, as mentioned before, are interactive. That means you can actually click components inside. You don't need to do keyboard keybinds and things like that. And next we have the Royal Air Force Martlet, which is a redesigned US Navy Wildcat. So as you can see, we actually have some pretty unique aircraft in uh, Desert Wings here. And next on the list, we have the Kitty Hawk, which first saw combat with the British Commonwealth squadrons of the Desert Air Force in the Middle East and North Africa campaigns during June of 1941. And for all you Italians out there, we have the Mackie C-202, uh, this was an Italian light fighter aircraft developed and manufactured by Maki Aeronautica. The C-202 in combat very quickly proved itself to be an effective and deadly dogfighter against its contemporaries. During its service life, the C-202 was deployed on all fronts in which Italy was involved. And the final aircraft I want to show off out of the over 40 aircraft available in the sim is the D-520. This was a French fighter aircraft that entered service in early 1940, shortly after the beginning of World War II. So as you can see, there's a little bit of everything for just about everybody. There was something else I really enjoyed about this sim, and it was the joystick setup wizard. Those of us who have been into flight sims know that setting up controls for these aircraft can sometimes be daunting, but this little wizard that they got was actually really, really helpful. I used it myself. There's a basic and advanced function, and it can set everything up for you within a matter of two to three minutes. So definitely check this out if you decide to pick up the sim. And if you like what you see, just keep in mind that the guys over at Team Fusion are actually giving away a free copy of this sim, so look in the video description and the pinned comment below to enter and maybe get yourself a free copy. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into some dogfights here so I can show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. Alright guys, let's see if we can make some quick work of these hurricanes. Uh, just jumping them uh, somewhere close to Tobruk, just outside of Tobruk I believe. We'll see if we can kill these guys quickly.
All right, well, it looks like this guy doesn't want to cooperate. He doesn't want to die today just yet. Check my six here. That's his wingman, and he's trying to kill me. My wingman should show up. He can't climb with me, so that's nice. Uh, he dropped his nose there. My wingman off in front. Hopefully, he'll get this guy off my tail. Come on. Almost have him. And man, you gotta be careful with the AI in this game, because like sometimes they'll level out and fly straight, and you'll think they're being dumb, but really what they're doing is uh, lining you up for their wingman. Like if they ever do that, check your six and you'll see their wingman lining up to kill you. So it's actually a really well uh, developed AI. Almost have this guy here. He's pretty damaged, I think I've hit him a couple times at this point. Nothing critical, I think I hit him in the wing there. But uh, yeah, the dogfight's in this, super challenging. Um, the AI doesn't just want to die. But once you damage them, they do behave like they were damaged. Like this guy just shredded his right wing there. So he'll be feeling that. And the damage model is just amazing in this sim. I absolutely love it. Oh, that guy just got lit up. Alright, so pretty sure we killed the uh, pilot on that one. And so he's going in. Alright, splash one bandit. And his wingman should be around here somewhere. I'm hoping my wingman killed him, but I don't think he did. I think he just kept him busy for me. gonna go ahead and get some energy back that guy right there that is the hurricane wingman by now he's definitely seeing his uh, leader a giant smoke plume in the ground all right here we go for a head-on pass we'll climb over all right use our altitude to dive down on him Right? Now here's the other thing, they don't just fly straight as soon as, you know, as soon as they see you lining up for a shot, they'll make maneuvers. You know, look at this guy, see? He doesn't just wait around to get killed. This is something you don't see in a lot of sims, you know, the AI just is kind of dumb. And uh, it's not something I see in this sim, which I really enjoy. He just lost his right aileron. <laughs> the BF-109s are deadly in this sim too, they absolutely shred guys up. Ooh. All right, bud, that's it for this one, too. Yeah, he's going down. And I love the satisfying sound of my guns as I light somebody up. It actually feels like I'm shooting a bunch of machine guns and cannons. The aircraft shakes, the sound, audio quality, all of that is fantastic. I really, really am enjoying this sim. I think it's one of the best World War II experiences I've had in a long time. Alright guys, so that's going to be the video for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you definitely will check out this sim. Um, I think it's a great World War II experience, and if you're into that, you're going to have a good time. Uh, don't forget to enter the draw for the free copy. We're going to give that away. We'll email you if you win, so check your junk folder and all that stuff. Alright guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.